before I show you my adventures in Switzerland, I wanted to start this video out by thanking BetterHelp, who is the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. So that means wherever you are in the world, you can access a therapist that can help you. Life does not go as planned. There have been many things in my life that I didn't expect, that were unexpected, and I needed someone to process those things with. Sometimes just processing them yourself isn't enough, and so you need someone who's maybe outside of the situation. To get started, all you have to do is fill out a short questionnaire that will help better help get to know you a little bit better, what your needs are, and the best therapist that can help you. And then you're able to talk to the therapist however is best for you, whether it's on the phone, or a video call, or maybe even through chat. They're very open to many different ways of communicating. Also being in Spain, I was concerned with time zones, but I was able to figure out with my therapist the best times where we could meet, where she was in the US and I was overseas, but we were able to connect maybe her morning and my afternoon. So it actually worked out really great. I also really like that I can message my therapist whenever I need. She is always there so that I can just send a message and then when she gets to it, she's able to message me back, which has been very, very helpful in times of need. One of the best parts about BetterHelp is that if they connect you with a therapist that's not best for you, then free of charge, you're able to pick a different therapist and go with someone that you feel would be better fit for you. So that's something that I did and I really appreciated that it was an option for me. And my second therapist was actually a great fit for me. So I didn't have to go through a bunch of therapists. When I was able to choose for myself, then I was able to find someone that um, I could connect to and had what I was looking for. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism as you would if you were going into a therapy office. The therapists are very professional on time and to make sure that you are taken care of even though you may be meeting with them online or through video chat. I've never had an issue with my therapist being late or not connecting with me. And something that she's done that I really like is ask if I wanted homework, if I wanted things to work on throughout the week, which is definitely because I'm someone who wants to work on myself. It's something that I really appreciated and I asked for. Not everybody provides that, not everybody needs that, but it's something that I really wanted and it was something that was custom to me and yeah, I really, really appreciated it. If you're interested in better health, then I have a code. You can get 10% off your first month, so be sure to use that in the link down below so that you can get a percentage off of your first month in better health. Good morning, it's another day in Switzerland. Day number three, I believe, and today I'm going to the city of St. Gallen, which is where my hosts live. This city is supposed to be pretty interesting and I'm excited to see it. It's a hidden gem is what I was told. <laughs> um, our home, my host said that we can go to City Hall and get some little audio guides that will lead us around the city. So that's the plan today, to get some audio guides. It's a cold one. You can see my breath. <laughs> they said that it's gonna get a little above zero degrees today. <laughs> the weather here is crazy. Okay, we came to the Tourist Information Center and got these little maps that show us all around the city. It's exactly what we need to see when we have these handy dandy audio guides. You just put in the number and it tells you all about the buildings you see, the little plazas you see, or the churches you go past. It is so cool. We're gonna spend the whole afternoon, even though it's raining, <laughs> going around the city and learning all about it. So cool.
St. Gallen, which is the saint this city is named after. He can be found throughout the city. I love walking through the city and seeing depictions of him everywhere. And he's always shown with a bear because the legend goes is that he was in the woods, in the forest, he was going to starve and a bear came, I guess, and fed him. There's more to the story than that. I don't know it. I have lovely local guides who have been sharing with me all the stories, but oh, it's such a cool little city. There's so many things to do. And there are UNESCO World Heritage Sites here that are absolutely beautiful. This evening, I have talked my host into making me traditional fondue. So we are headed to the store to get the ingredients that we need. So it's actually a mix between these two. Mm -hmm. And I would shred. Okay. Two of them. If you bought them individually. But it's just easier to buy the mix. Yeah. Ah. And then you will have. Wow, your so flower. cool. Your flower. It's so beautiful. It's almost like butter, the feeling of it, yeah. huh? It's so quite cool. a hard um, cheese. We'll try the monk's head cheese. <laughs> the shaved monk's head cheese. Mm, it has a strong smell. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest smell, but it tastes delicious. Mm. Is that how you're supposed to eat it? I just bite into it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Mm, it's really good. That is so cool. Yeah. yeah. And you just can't eat. eat yeah. Way. Yeah. It's really easy to eat, huh? Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. That is an amazing machine. Uh, this one is for furnishing us. Uh -huh. This very special kind of fork. You don't use this one for normal fondue? No. We use this. For normal for that, cheese and all yeah, the items. That, that <laughs> is whoops. Uh, this is typical for fondishinos. Uh-huh. And you will have oh, cute. Uh-huh. If you have fish or something like that or vegetables, so you can put it in cook that it. way and cook. Here. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That mm. is cheese fondue. Mm -hmm. With a normal plate. Mm -hmm. And this. Oh, three prong fork. Yeah. We've been talking fondue, and I realized that my whole life I've been lied to. When I've made fondue in the US, I have gone to a place called the Melting Pot where we have put many things into fondue, like vegetables and fruit, into the cheese. But here in Switzerland, to do it the, the only way it's meant to be done. <laughs> is to put bread in the cheese and the whole meal it's meant to be the main course is what i've learned not an appetizer the whole meal is just bread and cheese and you can spend up over 25 francs for a meal in a restaurant um and the cheese that we bought for here was how many you said 16 16 francs um to make it at home but yeah i'm learning so much i want to mistake them So the bread has been cut into little pieces. She said that white bread is the best, according to her. <laughs> Some people might use something else, but it'll change the flavor of the cheese. And then we have prepared the little thing to light once it's prepared, but 
We have to do it on the stove first, which is something I also didn't know. When you're in the grocery store, you can buy um, the cheese in like a pre-made type thing and just warm it up, but it's not the traditional way of doing it. So today I'm being shown the right way of making fondue. Ingredients for fondue. Starch, cornstarch, which helps it not split, which I was just told. And then, okay, so tell me about the cheese. It's half and half. It's half and half. It's half um, Gruyere and, it, and it's half Vacherin. Uh -huh. And it's the typical fondue from Fribourg. But when you get it at the store, it says Monti. Moitié, Moitié. Which and, is a and trick. that's the name. <laughs> It's half and half. Half and half, but as someone who is a foreigner, I would never know half and half of what. <laughs> now we know, I, we let you in. Some wine, just white wine, regular white wine, and a little garlic. <laughs> mm. And then you let it. So it has to be the perfect temperature and the perfect yep. mixing. She just told me it's very important not to let the wine and the cornstarch boil. It needs to just be a little bit warm and then you add in the cheese. And when you choose one, the one with the a hole. hole. It's I always wondered why there was holes in those. I don't know. Oh, but it's the one you have to but use. It's, yeah, it mm. works better. Mm -hmm. Yellow on top. Okay. And that's the grease. And if you, if it separate, you have really that grease. Oh, a lot top. of grease on top. Yeah. The secret ingredient out of the secret bottle with no label on it. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> it's in German. I still have no idea what it is. Um, it, yeah, it's in German, <laughs> but it's even in German in the French part. Ah, okay. It's super so, secret. <laughs> it's cherry. Ah. But high, cherry the high, high percentage. Okay. It's about 40 to 50%. Wow. Put some bread. Mm hmm. Put it in. Oh, the liqueur. To the liqueur. And then you go inside and you stir. Okay, so this is a big deal to stir. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Then you make it that way. And it will be very hot, huh? Ah, delicious. Together. Ooh, this bread is so squishy. Dip it in. Mm -hmm. A little bit, if you want. I, of course, I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> and then around the back, this the edge. You you just need to to go in and to stir. Okay. <laughs> stir. I expected it to be. Oh. Yeah, it really just has to be um, in a, a good t temperature. Yeah, look, look, look warm mm -hmm. almost. Okay, she was just telling me some rules. <laughs> when you eat fondue, 
You will drink white wine with it, mm -hmm. or black tea, or ginger ale. Mm -hmm. Never ever water and never eat some ice cream afterwards because you will have like a ball in your belly oh. and it, it will be painful. Oh my gosh! So yeah, too much lactose. No, it's because of the cold, it will ah. just make a ball of the... Oh my gosh. And you know what? I'm the one that put the water glasses on the table. Yeah. <laughs> and I wondered why we didn't have water. Yeah. So you know That's why. That's so funny. Oh, I have already made mistakes. No, I didn't no. know. Yeah. That is awesome. So you will put it on a piece of bread uh -huh. and then just eat it. So it is from the bottom of the bowl yeah. at the end. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. So it's probably just chewy, huh? Compared to... No, it's... Just eat it. Oh, oh I eat it. <laughs> okay. The bottom of the barrel. We've made it. Mmm. It's like... It's like pizza crust. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm The cheese on the end of the pizza crust has been cooked a little bit longer. <laughs> and it's <clears throat> and it's called the nun. The nun? Why? In French. I don't know. <laughs> the bottom of the the bowl is called the nun. <laughs> it's just scraping it out. Mmm. And the garlic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's I have to yours. eat it. <laughs> so you that's delicious. Mm -hmm. I like the garlic. That's the best part. <laughs> I need to put mm. more. Mm. We should Next. have put like five garlics in there. <laughs> Next time you go to the mm -hmm. melting pot, you will mm -hmm. tell them you want garlics garlic. inside. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I am so sad to say that my time here in St. Gallen is coming to an end. I am now at the train station about to catch a train back to Zurich. But I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to Ralph and Catherine. They truly, truly spoiled me the whole time I was here. They're so knowledgeable about their area and they gave me so much information. I seriously couldn't film all of it, but they were so kind and also fed me the best meals ever. Catherine, you're an amazing cook and I enjoyed every moment. I threatened to bring her back to Barcelona with me <laughs> so that she can continue to cook, but they are so full of joy and were the best hosts. I'm so glad you guys found me on my channel and that you invited me. It was absolutely amazing. I wouldn't have changed anything. So yeah, I'm head back to Zurich. I'm staying tonight in a capsule hotel. I had no idea it even existed here in Switzerland, but I'm excited to share that with all of you. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in watching me stay in a Swiss capsule hotel, or if you're interested in watching any of my other adventures. I have so many more to come. I'm loving being here in Europe and having the opportunity to take short trips like this and share them with all of you and learn so much more about the countries that are here in Europe. There are so many things I learned this week about Switzerland that I never knew or even had the opportunity to know. So I hope you guys learned something new in all of my videos and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I think it's still be the same, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll say ciao. I know that ciao is like the safe bet. 